Vicky. Yeah. Uh, so maybe the big key. It's not the big key. Did we lose him? You know what I would love? Something normal. Normal? Yeah, normal. A noise complaint. Ah, uh, yeah. Or a speeding ticket, some punk kid with a fake ID at the stop and save. Yeah, or, or a cat cut in a tree. Cat cut in a tree, I would kill for a cat in a tree. But it's gotta be a non-reanimated cat. That's a good point. <laughs> you expecting a boy or a girl? There's an egg. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, there it is. Do you feel it? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, huge. One good pull. Come on. Making it worse. Oh, get it off. Get it off. Get it off. There you go. Where is this thing? Is it just me or are those things always pregnant? Where do they find the time, you know? Hey, is it supposed to look like old grandma jewelry? Yeah, found it. That was easy. Oh, hey, uh, could you let me a hand here? Hey, are you okay? You've been acting weird all day. Yeah, it's just girlfriend stuff. Okay, well, I'm very girlfriend stuff. What is it? No, you're not. You're terrible at girlfriend stuff. Are you kidding me? I've read the Art of Karma Sutra ten times. It's the ultimate guide to romance. Have you ever used it before? I'm gonna... <laughs> Look, it just... Megan was late last week. Late? Like, late from work? You think she's cheating? Who do you think she's cheating with? Is it Gary? I met that guy three times. He never remembered my name. I hate that no. guy. She's late. Oh. Yeah, anyway, it's probably like her exercise or diet or whatever, but it got me thinking, like, am I ready to be a father? Is that something I could do? I think so. You already dressed like a dad. Ow! 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 Ah, I took my flashlight! Look, I'm serious, okay? Without Megan, I'd spend every minute at home jerking off or reading comic books. And I know a state to take care of a real human person. Just thinking about that? It scares the crap out of me. Try these. You know, I think you're looking at this all wrong. Dads have a lot of awesome powers. I mean, they're stronger than everyone else. They get to have the remote all the time. And they always have someone cool to play with. Oh, I fixed it. Yeah. I just don't think I'm ready. OK. I'm going to tell you a story, but you got to keep it between us. All right, remember that time I went down to the sewer to chase that blob thing? Yeah, I think that looked like a booger. Yeah, that giant booger with the huge teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay, when I got down there, I immediately got trapped. Froze up. I just stood there and stared at the thing. And then you came in and you kicked that big booger's butt. I did. The next thing I know, you just picked me up and you swaddled me and you just took me out of there. It was really nice. I thought you were unconscious for all that. I was kind of pretending to be unconscious because it felt so good to be held in your arms. What I'm saying is that it felt very paternal. My point is that when it was time to shit or get off the pot, you shit and you shit hard. It's a gross way of saying that. Oh. That's another good point, though, about dad powers. They take huge shits. For what it's worth, I think you'd be a great dad, too. Are you kidding? I can't imagine anything scarier. 